My name is Christy Calabrese, and I'm the Director of Permitting and Environmental Affairs um, for EDPR North America, and my superpowers are observation and data collection. I had this really great opportunity to come to work at EDPR um, back in 2009, and I really um, enjoyed working here because number one, it was a, a company that was focused only on renewables. So at the time, there was a lot of oil and gas companies that were doing some renewable projects, but you know, EDPR was, you know, basically the focus was renewables. Um, and just the people here, there was some, you know, there was a lot of passionate, enthusiastic people. And so, you know, I decided um, to come and work here. So I've been working here ever since. Initiatives like these are so important because it really, you know, can shape perceptions, especially for young girls, you know, and it shows that, hey, you know, these, these careers in STEM are not just for boys, you know, girls can do it too. I love the idea of the, of the book because it just ties, you know, like a real human to the career and it, you know, it, it, and it features the journey uh, 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 of all these wonderful women and how kind of they got to the career that they have today. I think the advice I would give young, um, young women is, you know, first try to, you know, find your passion and then just go for it, pursue it. I think finding a mentor or, or somebody you can talk to in the field, is, if you can do that, I think that's great. And then finally, I think just keeping an open mind. Um, you know, there's so many STEM careers now, but also I just can't imagine what's gonna be available even 10 years from now. So, you know, keep an open mind, trust in yourself, and I think, you know, um, you'll land where you'll want to, so. My name is Natalie Curry. I'm a solar operations manager for EDPR. Um, I'm the first uh, female solar operations manager for EDPR, um, and my superpower is farming the sun. My interest in STEM began back in middle school um, a lot of years ago. Um, so I was part of a group that went to a, a science Olympiad, so it was kind of like a Olympic Games for science. Um, so our, our group traveled across the state, we made it to the state finals. So that's actually where I started to have an interest in STEM. Um, I think books like this are important because it highlights the many different um, positions within the renewable energy sector. Um, it's not just the people working at solar fields and wind farms, it's people that are in the background with environmental compliance, with permitting, with um, everything else that goes into it. So it's highlighting everyone within that field. What I would say to the children reading the book is um, look at each job and see if there's anything that interests you because you can do anything you want to do. My name is Pratik Chatiwari. Uh, I joined EDPR in 2019. Uh, I'm transmission associate in transmission and interconnection team. My superpower, I'd like to say, uh, I do not give up. Um, I try to give my 100% to achieve my goals. I did my master's in power system. So my, my thesis mainly focused on the PV and wind integration into the grid. And I found EDPR is one of the good company to work for. And uh, EDPR provided me the right opportunity to work in the field of in renewable energy. So, uh, so far I'm enjoying this company and my team is really good. I'm originally from Nepal and in our country 100% of the power comes from the hydro which is clean energy. and. Uh, we, 
We were aware that Nepal has very good potential in the hydro resources. Despite that fact, we had a lot of uh, power cuts, a uh, lot shading uh, back to those days. So uh, that triggered me to join my uh, electrical engineering in undergrad. So that's the main reason I, I joined in electrical engineering. Every young girl can uh, learn how the superheroes are working every day to save our planet. And they can see the different motivational stories from different women who are leading in the energy sector. And energy, uh, renewable energy is a very emerging uh, field, so you can have a lot of opportunities when you grow up. And lastly, I would like to say, green big. Uh, so give your 100% if you really want something in your life. If you, if you work hard, uh, the whole universe will help you to achieve your goal. So stay motivated and never give up on your dreams.